Hey guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com. Today's topic is trigonometric ratios of 270 degrees plus theta in terms of theta. So here we already know that 270 degrees plus theta lies in fourth quadrant. And make a note that if theta lies in fourth quadrant, that is 3 pi by 2 less than theta less than 2 pi. Which is nothing but the angle ranging from 270 degrees to 360 degrees. Only cos theta and secant theta are positive in this quadrant, and rest of the ratios are negative. And now let us try to find the values of trigonometric ratios of 270 degrees plus theta in terms of theta. So first, let us begin with the trigonometric ratio sine. So the value of sine 270 degrees plus theta, and here 270 degrees plus theta lies in fourth quadrant, and in fourth quadrant only cos and secant are positive. So we can say that sine is negative here. So we get the result in negative, and 270. And since 27 is an odd number, so the trigonometric ratio sine changes to cos. So here we get minus cos theta as the result for sine 270 degrees plus theta. And now let us proceed and find the value for cos 270 degrees plus theta. So in fourth quadrant, cos is positive. So hence we get the result as positive. So cos changes to sine. So we get here result as positive sine theta. And similarly, the value for tan 270 degrees plus theta. So tan will be negative in fourth quadrant, so we get the result negative, and tan changes to cot, so we get here minus cot theta as the result for tan 270 plus theta. And similarly, we get the results for trigonometric ratios of cot 270 degrees plus theta, which will be equal to minus tan theta, and then cosecant 270 degrees plus theta will be equal to minus secant theta. And then coming to the next ratio, which is secant 270 degrees plus theta. So in fourth quadrant, secant is positive. So here we get the result in positive, and the trigonometric ratio secant changes to cosecant. So here we get the result for secant 270 degrees plus theta is equal to cosecant theta. And now let us try to solve few examples by using all these formulas. So here given example is find the value of tan 330 degrees so here tan 330 can be written as tan 270 degrees plus 60 degrees as 270 plus 60 will be equal to 330 and now it is in the form of tan 270 plus theta which is equal to minus cot theta so here we get the result as minus cot 60 degrees and the value of cot 60 is 1 by root 3 So here we get minus one by root three as the value of tan three thirty degrees. And now let us proceed and find the value for cos three sixty degrees. So here we can write cos three sixty degrees in the form of cos two seventy degrees plus ninety degrees, as two seventy plus ninety will be equal to three sixty. And now here it is in the form of cos two seventy degrees plus theta, which is equal to sine theta. So here we get sine ninety, and the value of sine ninety is one. So therefore, we get one as the value of cos three sixty degrees. So at last, we can conclude this by saying two seventy degrees plus theta lies in fourth quadrant, and in fourth quadrant only cos and secant are positive, rest all the ratios are negative. Hope you understood the concept. And for more videos on trigonometry, visit our website vtchacademy dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.